I'm Susan Carberry and today I'm going to show you a great cake for beginning sculptors. It's going to be a little puppy, so the first thing you need to do is kind of get some inspiration. So I go to my, my favorite thing to go to, Google, Google, Google images, and I just put in like cartoon puppy or uh, puppy clip art, and some of these different ones have come up. Um, I'm going to do him laying down like this because then we don't need any structure or anything inside. So again, it's a great one to start your sculpting with. And then I have this one because I just kind of liked how his head was. It's almost like a Snoopy kind of a head, ramp more round here and round here. But again, he's not going to be sitting up like that. And then I have the other one here. See, he's more um, laying down. And I've just got some little notes here. So what we're going to do is start with a, so it's always good too to just kind of put these out here so you can see you know, what, what you're kind of going for. And I've got a quarter sheet cake here. Um, it's just filled with buttercream, but you can certainly put filling in it if you would like. And what we want to do is make the entire puppy out of this cake. Okay, so it's almost going to be like a jigsaw puzzle that we're going to take some from here, move it around, da da da, and so on and so forth. So I have a ruler. What we want to do is we are going to cut off two inches off of this end here. So I'm just going to take the ruler, put it down, and then with my serrated knife, I'm going to go ahead and cut through. If your cake can be cold, even frozen a little bit, that would be great. It's easier for you to sculpt. Mine's been, you can see that mine's soft. I do like it a little firmer than this, but um, I had to transport it here. So Then I want to cut and leave about seven inches. So this is a seven inch piece and then this piece down here will be the head. So let me just turn it here. It doesn't have to be a perfect cut because we're gonna be doing a lot of trimming. This piece here is gonna end up being the head. I'm gonna move that off to the side, move that over here, and this is gonna be the main part of the body. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit at a slant here. And what I need to do is build up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife from about, not quite at the end, in a little bit, and I want to cut down about maybe three quarters of an inch, take this piece like that off, and actually turn it. I'm gonna put it right about here. So it's actually gonna be his bum a little here and then kind of round down a little bit. And then what I can do is start to just trim this. I wanna trim the corners. Now when I trim, I'm cutting like slicing like this and then moving it downward. So it's not just ee, ee, it's ee, right? <laughs> All right, so cut down and at the bottom I want to cut in a little bit also. All right. Turn this, come down here. I, a lot of times I like to start with those corners and get those rounded first and then go from there. Now, the other thing I want to look at here is the body. It's not going to come in straight like this. I'm going to angle my knife slightly and cut maybe about, it's probably not quite an inch, but again, about three quarters of an inch off. And then take this over here, cut that off so you can see the shape. And then I need to round this part down and over here and also in again at the base like so okay and that's good for now I can um, work on my legs and things and then if I need to come back because he's still looking a little squarish back here but I want to get some of my other pieces on first and then we will deal with that so let me move some of this out of the way and then we'll start with the next part 